I've got the Coleman lighted instant up North Star six person darkroom tent set up behind me here. We're gonna go for a bit of a walkthrough. Let's get started. Hit it. Ben from Summers here, folks, down at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park in Adelaide's leafy eastern suburbs. It's a beautiful sunny day down here. It's a great stopover if you're traveling through the area or an easy getaway for the weekend right near the Adelaide Hills and only 15 minutes to the city. I've got a Coleman instant up tent here, instant up tent here today. This is one of the lighted versions. It's got an integrated lighting system. It's got the darkroom coating on the fabric to make it a nice dark place to sleep and it still features the same integrated quick pitch frame as well as the storage vestibule at the front. I'm gonna go for a bit of a walkthrough, but we'll start with the fabrics. Now the fly sheet is a 75 denier, 185 thread count rip stop polyester with a 3000 millimeter water head. And there's darkroom coating on the inside here, which is a black coating that blocks out about 95% of the sun. You can sort of see a few little spots if you hold it right up directly to the light, but it blocks out most of the light. And coming in to the inner tent here, this is also a 75 denier polyester that most of this is made of. Not a waterproof fabric. This one is a breathable fabric. While we're up here, the frame is a steel frame combined with plastic components in the knuckles here and also at the hub at the very top of the tent up there. Moving down the tent, we've got a nice ultra fine mesh here that's gonna keep most of the bugs at bay, possibly even some midges, but you never know with midges. Right down to the bottom, uh, it's a 420 denier poly oxford PVC floor. So this is a nice heavy duty poly oxford material, material with a PVC coating on the inside. Doesn't have the crinkly feel that many tarp materials do. It's a bit nicer to walk on and it's a little bit easier to roll up as well. And lastly, the doormats that you get with your tent, there's two of these that come with it. It's just a polyethylene mesh doormat. I wanna show you the features on the inside shortly. We'll start with the outside though. So we'll step around to the window at the side there. Now there's a long window on each side of the tent. This can be set up in one of three ways. Firstly, as it is here at the moment, still closed for full weather protection. Secondly, if we unzip each side and use the little guy ropes on the corners, remove the Velcro in the middle there as well, you can then peg this out as a little weather protected vestibule over the window, window here so you can get a bit of breeze up underneath while keeping most of the rain out. And lastly, what I'm gonna to do today so we can let some light inside the tent is roll it right up and out the way. So it does two things. Firstly, light inside the tent, like I just mentioned, but also allows much more ventilation or airflow through the tent. On top of this, at the rear of the tent, you've got a second entrance that you can also peg out as a vestibule. So this doorway here, there are two zips that run right up the side. You can actually use the awnings that are, in, the awning poles, sorry, that are included with your tent. I've got it set up at the front at the moment, but there are eyelets in this um, doorway here as well. We can actually unzip this, roll it up. If we like, roll it up and out of the way with the tabs at the top here or set it up as another weather protected entrance to the tent. And that goes through to another double door here. And you can see down the bottom, the extra included mat that we get. While I'm on these doorways, there's one other thing I'll mention, and this features on both this doorway and the one at the front, is this Velcro tab here. This works in conjunction with a Coleman gazebo. Up underneath the edge of a Coleman gazebo is the other side of this Velcro. So what you can do is stick this up under the edge of your gazebo so you get a seamless join between a gazebo that can be set up here and the entrance to your tent. That's the features on the side and the rear. I will just show you the vestibule and the awning around the front now. So I've got a few setup options at the front of the tent here as well. Now I've got the doorway set up as a shade awning at the front here now with the two poles and uh, guy ropes that came included with the tent. Now we could zip this closed if we liked down the front here to create a weather protected uh, vestibule or storage space at the front of the tent here. And there's almost enough room for me to stand upright here. I'm 185 centimeters. If I stand right upright, my head is just touching the top. So the vestibule then leads us to a door to inside the tent. Now this is a double door. So we've got both solid and mesh panels on here. There's a zipper inside here that gives us the mesh panel so we can leave that solid panel open if we like, or we'll zip it all closed for full protection and to keep the warmth inside the tent. That leaves in the tent, let's step inside and have a look there. So the first features inside I wanna show you are the windows on each side or the privacy screen. So I've got this internal privacy screen here zipped down at the moment. I'm gonna do the same on this side to let more light inside the tent. So there's three clips across the top. This one's undone, but there's a little loop there. Oh sorry, one clip and two zips. If we undo these zips, we can roll this down. It rolls from the, the top down so we can just put it part way down if we want. 
and there's a little um, tab in the corner here to keep it out of the way and that allows us to have plenty of ventilation through the tent. Now if we jump up to the top of the tent first, look at the features up there. We've got this little gear loft that's included with your tent clipped in the top here. Um, that's just to keep valuables up and out the way. I'm actually going to remove it to show you the features underneath here as well because if we look underneath we can see firstly in the top another lantern or a lantern hook that we can use so if we do away the gear loft we can hang a lantern in the middle here you can also see the cords here which are part of the integrated lighting system so we've got these white tabs here and in underneath there are these led strip lights that form part of the integrated lighting system and these cables run down this tube here to a switch in the corner that i'll show you shortly looking at the other features inside the tent here as we we move down and um, we can see on each side We've got this zippered panel here. Now this forms part of the common circle ventilation system. If we unroll this, we can uh, unzip it so we can roll it up and use the tabs to secure it out the way. And that works in conjunction with a little kind of cone shaped area that we uh, pegged out um, on the outside for the fly there. That allows ventilation nice and low down where you're sleeping inside the tent here. If we move around to the rear of the tent, We've got that second entrance here, also a double door. So we've got both mesh and solid panels on this door here. So we've got ventilation on all four sides. And there's two lots of storage pockets inside the tent here. The first one is in this corner here. We've got three pockets, two with the sort of solid fabric panels and a little mesh pocket in the middle. And then there's the control panel pocket, which is over on this corner of the tent. And this is where all the lighting is controlled from. So we've got a solid mesh pocket here, a me a, sorry, a solid pocket, a mesh panel in the middle. And then in this pocket here is sort of where you store your battery pack. Now this is the battery pack that came, comes with the Coleman tent. It takes four D-sized batteries. The beauty of this though is that it's USB compatible. So I've got my own little power pack here that I can plug in to run the lights from. So if I plug that in there, I can store this in this pocket here when I'm not using it or just to keep it out the way. And above this is the switch. Now there's four different settings for these lights, a high, medium, low, and a glow setting. So the actual switch glows. A few other features I wanna show you before I zip the tank closed to show you how that looks is the zipper in the corner here is actually a power access point. So if you don't wanna use the integrated lighting system or you wanna run a fan inside the tent, you can get a power cord through there. And I also want to show you, uh, or get, get some sort of scale of the sleeping area in here. Now I've got a, a few air beds that I'm going to throw in here to give you an idea of what it might look like or how you might be able to use the space. So I've got in here at the moment a double high queen size air bed and an XL single. Now this guy measures about two meters in length and about one and a half meters in width. And that's about 190 centimeters in length and about a meter in width. So these fit pretty comfortably. So you could almost squeeze, I reckon, another single XL air bed at the end here but as this is set up at the moment you can easily sleep mum and dad and at least one child in here with a bit of storage and you could very comfortably fit two XL single air beds in here with tons of room to move around. It's pretty much all the features but what I want to do show you is how well the dark room coating works on the fly sheet here so I'm going to zip everything closed and we'll also be able to show you the lighting system once it's all zipped up as well. Now I've got all the door, the windows uh, and vents shut on the fly sheet. I'll also zip the door on the inside of the tent here. Now we are in full sunlight here today. So there is a bit of light coming in underneath the tent. So it's not completely dark, but bearing in mind, we are in full sun here right now. So it feels quite, I could sleep comfortably in this room here at the moment. Now having a look at the lighting system, we come over to our switch here got four settings if I flick this once you can see the lighting system on the top of the roof there will come on just got to power up my USB bank and now it comes on I can flip scroll through the settings up to the brightest setting and if I click it a fourth time the actual switch here glows it's a bit hard to see in the light here at the moment but at night that glows enough so you can find the switch easily at night that is all the features of the Coleman Lizard instant up North Star six person darkroom tent. It's a great tent for family camping, lots of room for a family of four, compact family of four, or heaps of room for two people out camping. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you thought that video was useful, subscribe to our channel. You'll get all of our latest and greatest information. Got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Or if you want to check out some other videos, try these ones down here.